Automatic updates for plugins and themes are a really good idea in WordPress, but a lot of people are scared of them for good reason. We've already got a quick guide on WP Shout about um, a plugin that lets you enable automatic plugin updates for most plugins, but not all of them. Um, but I wanna highlight how without using someone else's plugin, you can also configure in WordPress automatic plugin and theme updates. Um, so I'm on a page on the WordPress codex called Configuring Automatic Background Updates. Um, and it explains how you can turn on, uh, in addition to controlling the core updates, which you can kind of leave as is, um, you might want to turn it on to update major versions, but uh, either way, uh, how you update plugins and themes is a little different than I actually expected. Uh, so rather than being a constant you define in WordPress, uh, plugin and theme updates, turning them on by default, requires that you add a filter to a hook called auto update blank. Um, and the way the codex recommends you do this is via an MU plugin. Um, and an MU plugin is something you may or may not know about in WordPress. Basically by default, all your plugins in WordPress end up in this folder called plugins. If you want an MU plugin, what happens is WordPress auto loads every plugin in the mu under slash plugins folder. So I'm gonna create a new folder because this WordPress site hasn't been using mu plugins before. And I'm gonna call it mu dash plugins. And you'll notice it's right next to the plugins folder in my WordPress install. And in there, I'm gonna create my new plugin by creating, I'm just gonna actually make it a raw file. Um, so in that file, I'm gonna call it auto update .php, and then I'm going to take a quick plugin header. I always search for it, WordPress plugin header, because I'm too lazy to remember the exact syntax for it, and it's really quick to do this search. Um, so basically, I'm gonna copy this guy and modify it to match, Oh, I need that opening PHP tag, and I'm gonna change it to say, I'm gonna call this WP Shout Auto Updates. I'm not gonna bother to change any of that stuff, but obviously I would if I were gonna use this plugin beyond our demonstration purposes here today. And then all I'm gonna do is add these filters. Now you might be tempted um, to add these filters to your WordPress site via a uh, line in WP config. The reason you can't do that or shouldn't do that, at least it may possibly work, but it's heavily discouraged, is that then those hooks might load before WordPress is loaded. So with that set up, you're basically all configured if WordPress is gonna have that. Let me make sure I did everything correctly. So if I go to plugins and MU plugins exist for my site, I see this must use, and this is where my plugin is showing up. So this plugin will always, always, always stay on because it's a must use or MU plugin in WordPress. So because we put this in the folder MU plugins, these hooks are already registered. And so WordPress will in the background as it does its processing when it would typically try to check for an update, it'll run my hooks as well. The big thing to realize is you could put these same hooks in a functions.php file or in a regular plugin that you can enable and disable. They're best in the must use plugins because then you don't have to worry about, oh, my client when they're and disable them or something like that, because you'll notice in the dashboard, you can't disable MU plugins. So if you want to do this for client sites to give you peace of mind about, I know that WordPress and my plugins and themes are up to date, this is the way to do it.